From days of a bit ago, from uncharted regions of the internet, comes a legend. The legend of Mad Toy and King of Beast Fake Voltron Toy. A mighty robot, loved by nerds, feared by web. As King of Beasts legend grew, lawsuits settled across the internet. On planet Earth, all signs of Cobb disappeared. Many nerds complained. I wondered if we'd ever see Cobb again. Until one day, he arrived in my mailbox. Cobb was here to stay. This is the story of a cool toy based on another cool toy. That is awesome and is unofficial, so nerds can enjoy. Bo whoa, whoa, hey, hey there. You just can't come out and bust that name out after all the time I spent trying to set up the theme for this guy. Sheesh. Hi, this is obviously a review of the Mad Toys Cobb, looks a lot like Voltron, King of Beast. And first off, we're going to have ourselves a little look at the green and red lions. They're pretty nice. There they are right there with their red and their green. It's great that they have different bodies and the articulation is the same on both. They have rocket punches on their heads. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Some necks would have been a nicer effect in my uh, personal opinion. The green has some great coloring on him Pickety, though. Pickety. And some nice ratchet joints. Actually all the lines have got really nice ratchet joints on them. It's very sweet. And the red has also the same ratchet joints. The articulation is pretty good. Ah, watch out for his leg. Mine broke off there because it was a bit too cold and I think the joint was a bit too tight. And their tails are die cast, which is weird. Rather nicely they have, because uh, they're the elbows, they have ratcheted twists there. And, oh, a twist there. The other one's a bend, not a twist. Their heads come off and have ratcheted jaws with the old clickety clickety. They're pretty cool. The heads are the same sculpt. Why am I still playing with the jaw? There you go, the teeth. It opens quite a bit. Good for holding weapons for the combined mode. You get two. I can't see any real difference between them. I guess one is just in case you lose the other one in the couch. Under the couch? Wow, this is going on longer than I expected. <clears throat> Might cut some of that out. And as you can see here, they have uh, weird little joints there. A little poop and a little willy. They are the actual combining joints for joining into the black lion, but they kind of don't have anywhere really to put them. Aside from out their bum or under their legs when they're in lion mode, which is a bit unfortunate for poor little brain there. Next up, we're going to have a look at the leg lions and they are pretty nice. The main body sculpt is exactly the same, except the yellow has the cannon on the back. And what a beautiful yellow paint they have on this. I, I can't quite work out whether it's metallic or not, but it certainly looks good. The cannon doesn't pop up because these guys are without gimmicks and he's also missing his chops of missile launching death but he does come with a very tight neck twist also that joint there is the ankle rocker for the main combined mode and the blue lion has that as well also has a really nice metallic blue paint and die cast tail which is a bit too heavy for it Ratchet joints there and in the neck there for the uh, Voltron toes. Whoosh, there we go. My blue one's uh, neck is a little bit looser than the yellow, but they're still super tight. This panning shot here is to show you that all the screw holes are actually covered up 
which is a really nice touch. I never really thought about it until someone online mentioned it. And I was like, wow. Next up, Black Lion. Look at this guy. He looks boss. I love this lion. He looks friggin' amazing. Almost like he jumped out of the cartoon, but not quite. He's fantastic. He's got so many joints being the main body of Voltron. It's ridiculous in the arms and the legs and the jaws and poor old Alpha Trion there getting his little hand munched. Good thing he's not the real Alpha Trion. These guys all come with various weapons. They mixed it up so you get the weapons for the other lions, but sadly the lions don't hold their lion weapons very well as you can see. And they are color coded, which is uh, kind of nice. Even these ones with the uh, smaller hand grips, they are held a little bit better, but they're not the best. They're still a tad loose. The yellow and red, uh, uh, yellow and blue, sorry, also come with uh, their swapped around weapons and they hold them really, really badly, which is why I have a still photo. Black Lion comes with these super big derpy cannons, which I hate because they've got battery gimmicks in them, battery light up gimmick. And it just makes them ridiculously large. And once you piss fart around trying to put the battery in, they're not worth it. He also comes with these shuriken shield things, and they're fat. Mad Max wants his wheels back. From the front, they look stupid, but from the side, they look really freaking cool. Do kind of like these. I much prefer these to the cannons. And they slightly spin. Look at that. It looks awesome. He also comes with a blade. For his mouth, which is a bit trickier for him to hold as well. Watch out, Miku, he'll drop that on your head if you're not careful. The lions themselves look really fantastic. Actually, none of them have manes, so does that mean they're all lionesses? Oh, hello, I think Razor Claw wants to say hello. And here they are with Daltanius's lion, who happens to have a mane, so... Are they all his little... <whistles> Time to form Voltron, or King of Beast. Ready to form Voltron! Activate interlocks! Dinotherms connected! Infracell up! Mega thrusters are go! Look at that toy, it just looks amazing. Despite the slight flaws of the lions, the combined mode is just incredible. Even from the back it looks fantastic. The lions have got larger legs for their lions mode than the original toy, like proportion wise. And for the red and green they slightly get in the way of the elbow, but it's not too devastating. But oh my god, just it looks it looks so good. Uh, I got the somehow I got the early release, and he comes with two beast blades. I think they called them. They're just like big cleavers. They have the same hilt as his blazing sword, and they look really cool. And he has two of them. Shame he doesn't have any wrist swivels. He also comes with this form blazing sword effect, which you saw earlier in the introduction, which I quite like. It's a nice touch. And it actually looks really, really good. And with that, you can form his blazing sword. There it is there, nicely sculpted. Looks like the kind of tridenty thing from the card and it's great. Beautiful silver paint on that thing too. And it's big. And he also comes with a flaming sword. Can't remember exactly off the top of my head when he uses this, but I don't care because swords on fire are awesome swords on fire. Fire. Swords. 
and you can do this. Look at that, that's just done with shining a torch through the blade and wiggling it around. It looks great. I love that shot. Very clever if I do say so myself. He's very poseable as well. He's got knees and ankles and ankle tilts and elbows and slight mid forearm twists. And his kind of proportions are really good. If you push the, li the leg lion's feet down, uh, you can get him into some great poses because they make awesome ankles. Here's a shot of him next to the vehicle Voltron, an officially licensed Voltron for just the shortest time. Masterpiece Star Saber. Oh my god, it's a it's a sword comparing competition. Oh dear. This is kind of sad. And here he is next to Legends Ultra Magnus, who has a hammer. Not a very good hammer, but it's kind of a fun toy. Nice size comparison, I think, if you follow Transformers. This Voltron uh, can't reach across his body, which is kind of annoying. Well, not really annoying. Unfortunate. Would have been good if he could, but uh, I can see the design kind of prohibits that in a way. And here he is next to Daltanius who I believe was a kind of Voltron precursor, the guy they wanted, but they got Golion instead, and they like Golion better than the Daltanius cartoon. That's a Chogorkin, by the way. I do like the lion head, it's very cool. What is it about me and lion robots? Seriously, if I saw five lions squished together in real life, it would probably be terrifying. These guys also both have flaming swords. Oh! A flaming sword fight. Oh, oh god, see how much I love that effect. Yeah. I am that shallow. But as you can see, as soon as this bit's over. Ooh. They're having a fight. Voltron is actually, uh, or King of Beast. King of Beast is actually quite poseable for something his size. Quite a bit more than the vehicle one. Mind you, the vehicle one's uh, kind of struck with being made up of 15 vehicles. But yeah, it's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Well worth the shekels. And as you can see, I've had a lot of fun with this toy. It's just kind of... I don't know. He's got like a really good weight to him. Everything is ratcheted. It is fantastic. They make great noise as well. And he's like so poseable. Uh, and yeah, the lions are good, but he's, the lions, you know, are definitely a precursor to the better part of the whole robot, which is just fantastic. I mean, they, they look fantastic. They're fairly poseable. You can still have a lot of fun with them. Uh, I don't really have any flaws with mine, except for the red legs falling off. And if you've been following my Instagram, you can see how much fun I've had with these guys. It's just, I don't know, it's just a really fab toy. And I see there's an official one coming from uh, Wonderfest as well, or from WEP, through news through Wonderfest. So, there we go. I think with this guy, you really can't go wrong. I'm tempted to double dip on the other one as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>